Welcome back. We are doing all signs. Aries, see Pisces. Keep in mind if it is not your story. Acknowledge you move on. So, quest another day for fun. Benedict Cumberbatch or Robert Downey Jr. Who makes the better Sherlock Holmes? If you guys haven't seen it, don't worry about it. We are using the Sigils Shadow Work Oracle today. So what we're going to use this for us to see what energy the person that you're thinking about, what energy you might be facing this week. All right, so Aries, source. Libra! Uh, yes, Libra. In the house. Addicted. Two more. Oh, damn. Argumentative and judgmental. Well, that's not a good combo. Sounds like a real letter to me. Oh, Hashoki. Okay, so for the overall energy, you guys have the star. Lost your car. Wookie. This can be trying to have hope, trying to overcome an obstacle, trying to heal from a situation, trying to be hopeful. That Insanity. Shush, Wookie. Booger I'm going to whoop you. Oh, my God. Oh, my dad's adding in. No booger man's expectations. Wanting an attainable goal. So it is very positive energy. Underneath that, you have the Empress. That can be that you're hoping somebody actually gives you more respect. So let's see what we get. Aries Leo Savage. No clarifiers. All right. Page of Swords. Ace of Cups. One more. Five of coin. This person cares about you, but they're staying to themselves. Why the five of pentacles? That or they feel like you are, yeah, they feel like you're giving up on them. They're like, even if I approached you, you've blocked me, you've given up. In their thoughts, they have the page of swords. They could be thinking about negotiations, but boy, they're nervous and agitated trying to gather information about you and knowing that you're guarded. This person knows that you are not wanting to deal with them. Very paranoid this person can be. What is the actual blockage? Wheel of Fortune. So that is reversed. Didn't get the outcome that you wanted. Not getting closure. Eight of Wands. Communication sucked. There could have been a big delay. There could have been a distance between the two of you, but there is... One more. Okay. One more for the Eight of Wands. There's an emotional distance. There's things not feeling like they're going right. And then you got this person possibly kissing your ass because they weren't going right. Six of Coins reversed is possibly feeling pressure on somebody for finances. It can be a gold digger. It can be somebody that just did not give you the sense of any security at all. Impatient. And that page can be very impatient. One more for action. They're not coming. This is somebody that's just kind of giving up hope. I'm abandoning the situation. So you might be trying to heal from this person. But not going so well. This is somebody that abandons. They embellish the truth. They could be trying to come in and stake their claim. But I would be careful with that one. They got a major attitude as far as you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And if you don't know what a sigil is, Google it up. It's actually these symbols help protect you. They help you be protected is the concept from addictedness, argumentative, or judgmental. All right, seven of wands. Like an asshole to me. Dad, hush. Oh, now I got two of them. Okay. This person's all up in their head. They're defensive. Why are they so defensive? In their mind, they're standing their ground because they still have an interest in possibly coming your direction. Or they might feel like you owe them an apology. Why the Ace of Swords? That's like, I feel that we need to get on the right page. I feel that I've been honest. I want a breakthrough with you and then the eight of cups they want to come back around one more for the eight of swords because they here again it's almost like the other one i feel like you're just dropping this i feel like you just don't want to deal with me anymore that you've just you know uh, -uh. and they're trying to get the courage up to possibly come in but it's going to be a mutual blame game nine of pentacles 
this person might feel and think that there's a, a codependent. Now they can be them codependent on you. What's the blockage? Again, that gold digger issue. Three of Wands. Things were going well, and then all of a sudden they stopped respecting you. They started ignoring you. They got cold, immature. There could have been jealousy issues. There could have been a baby mama drama type shit going on, but there was a secret that had come out. One more for their action. King of Wands reversed. This is someone that is just selfish as hell. I, again, feel like you're just trying to heal and move on and look for... It's like I'm turning my back on the cloudy situation. I can see clearly I'm not in the dark about things anymore. Seeing the truth. This can be somebody that had put you into a third party, but it doesn't have to be. But this was like, things were going good. What's the blockage? Somebody else. Baby mom, baby daddy. Just saying, but there's something about money involved here. This person could have somebody else that's codependent on them, or that can be you having codependence because of a child. Just saying, there can be a kid involved in there. All right, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Soars. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Three of Swords reversed. And the Queen of Swords. All right. They're thinking about trying to work things out. One more. This person's obsessed with this actually working, though. Why the Three of Swords reversed for feelings? Okay. They want to come in and argue for their limitations here. This person feels like this connection shouldn't be over, but they their attitude sucks ass. This is somebody that's bitter, defeated, they're pissed. One more for feelings. Feeling like you walked away and they still want the opportunity. Why the Queen of Swords for action? Because that's somebody that can be... <clears throat> this person thinks that you've been too judgy. They want to come in and have a discussion. They feel like you have judged them incorrectly. They feel like you have not given them a fair opportunity. So they want to argue about this. Ten of Cups. Wanting to come back. Can I heal the situation? Blockage. Six of Wands. Somebody else could have been stroking their ego. and They could have given you the feeling of not feeling good enough or feeling inept. And they just wouldn't drop this. This is somebody that might have tried to keep you on the hang constantly. A lot of arguing. Yeah, the tower. This person was just trying not to let go. You know, it's like you could have had a struggle trying to get away from this person. But this is looking like somebody that is whew, bossy. Yeah, bossy. Irritation, that feeling again of possibly you feeling apprehensive around this person, like they wanted a submissive partner and not feeling comfortable at all. And this is looking like you kind of forgave and forgave and gave and gave and gave and gave, and gave having hope. And this is kind of toxic. But they are going to come in and try to talk. But this seems like somebody that is a control freak and wants to be in charge of things. And everything has to be their way. Ooh, indignant. I'm coming in because you have judged me incorrectly. You hear sleeping with the enemy? Da, 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 da. I do. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Jeez, guys. Taurus, Virgo, Cap. Queen of Wands. All right. They fancy how you look, smell. They think that you're outgoing. This person's thinking about your personality. They're kind of him and hawing as far as feelings. One more. That can be somebody that wants to make. They don't want any competition. They might think that you have another suitor. All right. Get one more for feelings. Because they want. Oh, yeah. They definitely want to be number one. Me. Me, 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 me. They're sexually interested in you. This person wants to um, find out if your seats are satin or silk. Okay, 
action they take, they want they don't want any competition. They want you to make up your mind. Action they take is the three of cups. Let's go for a drink. Let's see how things roll. King of Swords. Could have a little bit of resting bitch face, but this person could be an actual boss. You got the Ten of Pentacles. This person means to have an opportunity with you. One more for thoughts. And they're very, very attractive. Yeah, they feel like you're, they're thinking that you're making them wait because you have other alternatives. How do you see them? All right, asking you all, romantic and all that, not treating you like an option. How do you feel towards them, though? Five of Cups reversed. Why the Five of Cups reversed? Queen of Pentacles. You're wondering if... Ooh, that ain't so good. Five of Cups reversed. Whose asses are they kissing? It's like, here are my expectations. And Two of Wands. You're going to have to... This person, as far as you're concerned, needs to make up their mind. So they could be in limbo. This is feeling like they might have another person that they're in a long-term connection with and they're kind of on the fence about it, but they want the opportunity with you. I'd be a little cautious. But for, see, here you go. I mean, this is for outcome. I'm grasping here, trying to make this better. Six of Cups, there's a feeling of this person not being over their ex and Seven of Pentacles. That's also doubt. Not knowing if it would pay to invest in this, but trying to have patience. So I feel like you're going to have to evaluate the situation and really kind of pay attention to what this person says. So their anxiety as far as you holding back, oh, I see it. I definitely see it because they could be kind of cold and holding back because they're still borderline with somebody else. They're the ones that doesn't want competition. They're going back and forth. They're going back and forth in their head on which person they want. Yeah. No, no, no. So you definitely hit the judgmental. You definitely hit the argumentative. Only you guys would know if you hit the addicted. But that can be somebody that's addicted to you. But are you trying to heal? Or are you anticipating something good? Because this was some heavy energy. So we have Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer. Libra, Taurus. Libra! God help you. Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn. Sounds like some assholes to me. Oh my God. I'm gonna whoop some Wookiee and Father Butt. Sorry guys. Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, heavy. All right, hope, and I just feel like I got somebody controlling in there. All right, let's get an answer for you guys. Question most on your mind. Source, what do they need to hear? You're not listening. You're not listening. Somebody needs to have patience. Somebody is not listening, but that could be that person. On we go. Ole, ole, ole. Taurus says, question of the day. Who makes a better Sherlock Holmes, Benedict Cumberbunch, or Robert Downey Jr.? I actually think that's kind of a tough one. We are using the Sigils Oracle work. So, if you don't know what a Sigil is, it sigil. is... Sigil. 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 <laughs> oh, we're going to have a discussion here. These are protective inscriptions okay they go way way back so we're gonna see the person most on your mind what energy they could be exerting towards you with a soft G with a soft G he's full of crap <laughs> jealousy impulsive one more source one more okay egotistical oh what a wonderful person to be around Jealousy, impulsive, so it can be a combination or one of those three. All right, so the deck we chose for you, we have the overall energy of the High Priestess. Cut of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. 
This is looking like you're kind of not interested or not satisfied with somebody's attitude. Could be missing an opportunity completely, but you're up in your head thinking you might not be interested in somebody's offer. Could be the fact that you were just kind of giving them the, you know, stay away. I need a, I need to think about this. Quietly using your intuition. Instincts are kicking in. Gut feelings. So let's see what we get. Oh, you guys are going to love this. You ready? Sickle. See? See? Sickle. Sickle. Yeah. Okay. I so don't see? Sickle. <laughs> He's in denial. Okay. So we're going to leave the high priestess up there. Source, Aries Leo Sag, Elemental Quickies. All right, King of Swords. This person's doing a lot of thinking. Trying to think about what's fair. All right, in their feelings we have, I want a victory, I want to succeed, I want to overcome anything that is between us. Ten of Cups, I mean business. One more for thoughts. It's a coin. They want a beginning with you. Now, this can be somebody absolutely brand new. And this can be why you're a little bit like, I need to know you a little bit better. Because the King of Swords can be very resting, wookie bitch face and hard to get to know. How do you see them? Eight of Wands. Okay, well, you're open to this. You'd like to sweep me off my feet. I'd like to see this go forward. And you have your empress. So you see them giving you respect. You see them trying to nurture this. This can be online dating, but it's a lot of communication back and forth. But you might be having a hard time trying to relate to them. But they are, I mean, you see them respecting you and showing you abundance of attention. Complimenting you. What are your feelings? Feelings. The lovers. Ooh. One more. New chapter. So a little apprehensive, but this looks beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. It's a new lover. And it can be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Nice. Libra. Yeah, one of those. All right. Cancer. Sorry, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Libra. Page of Wands came flying out. This person's thinking about coming your direction. They're Kind of like just all excited and Twitter pated, thinking, feeling. We have the Ten of Coins. Oh, the Ten of Coins, the King of Cups. Ooh, this person is trying to emotionally be, be mature, but they might feel like they don't, um, like they could be younger, and therefore they want to really make a good impression. Action. Tower. Oof. This person is just going to try to knock you off your feet sexually. Four of Wands. But they want stability. This can be a twin flame soulmate connection. One more for their thoughts. This person is just, I'm having some Taurus. Nine of Coins. Yeah. It's almost like they're like, I know you're apprehensive and you want your independence and you might think I'm a little bit too young or I don't live up to your standards, but I'm going to knock you off your feet. This person has high expectations. How do you see them? Lady Justice. All right. So it's like, all right, you see them wanting this opportunity and coming at you right and that you they want they want this opportunity. You feel like they want the opportunity. They want to come at you and show you that they're worth it. The truth of the matter. Somebody with a very strong character. Your feelings. Strength. And the six of wands. This person, it's almost like they need a little bit of taming. You're holding back a little bit. But it does seem like a lot of fun. It looks like a victory. Getting a lot of attention. But it looks like fun. Cut of the deck. This can be somebody that you could have a solid relationship with. This looks really nice. You guys have got some really sweet energy. But it, hush, Wookie. I'm just saying, no, baby. And they can be, they can be a little bit younger than you. And they really want to prove that they are worth it. But with the overall energy, again, of the High Priestess, you're using your intuition. And that can make you extremely mysterious if you're being a little bit 
like you're holding them back a little bit. There's your impulsive boy. In they come. Ooh. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Knight of Wands. All right. Sexy. Sexy, sexy. So I think you're sexy. They want to propose getting it together. They want to message you. They're hoping. They're, they're hoping that you're interested. They're looking for good, positive news. But they're not doing anything. Why the Four of Swords? All right. They don't feel like you're interested. Why the Knight of Wands for thoughts? Three of Swords. Oh, they're action. Ooh, that's not so good. What's the Black Edge? Hermit. They wanted their freedom. They were full of shit. Couldn't believe a word they said. Ace of Swords. Again, lying. The communication is, like, blocked. They're not being completely honest with you. This person's confused. There's major red flags here. One more. And this is just like losing hope, disappointments. This person could have taken their dipstick elsewhere. One more. Seven of coins. Yeah, I mean, there is no feeling like this person's putting any work into this at all. It's like, it's a waste of time. I'm disappointed with the results of this. What is the point of this shit? Giving up. To teach you a lesson. And how do you see them? One more for the Ace of Cups, how you see them, and then Three of Cups reversed. You feel like they're seeing somebody else. That's called, oh, having a good time and canceling, uh, possibly canceling on you to see somebody else. One more. Queen of Pentacles, it's like, ah. Uh -huh. You feel like this person is possibly in another connection. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles, there can be jealousy issues between the two of you and this other person, but why in the hell would you want to argue over somebody? That's a third party. Five of Wands, that's competition. Conflict, bunch of bullshit, major drama, and head games. This is like kindergarten bullshit. How do you see them? I'm sorry, feel about them. Queen of Cups reversed, disappointed as hell. Feel like they're unfaithful, immature, and you're taking this hard. It's like, how much more of this shit do you think I can take? No, I feel like you're blocking them because you can't rely on this person. It's like I never know what the hell to expect from you. This person's screwing around. No, egotistical and jealousy that can be on your part, but what the hell? If they were supposed to be living up to expectations and this person led you on to think that they were single, they also could have led somebody else on to think that they were single. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Two of Swords. The Magician for Feelings. One more. One more. And the devil. Oh, this person wants to take action. All right. It's like they're addicted to you. One more for action. But this can be a connection that is just not healthy, not good for you. They want another chance. They want things to go better. I'm going to change. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to make things different. I'm going to tell you. But with the devil upright, not so much. One more for thoughts. Yeah, they feel like you're refusing to butter their muffin. This person thinks that you are refusing to make any choices that they that they just have been shunned and you don't want to deal with them anymore. That's two people that are at a major stalemate. What is the blockage? Queen of Swords. Okay, yeah. Cold hearted snake. Lying. Cutting, can't trust them, unfaithful, bad girl, bad boy, bad, bad, bad. Six of coins, breadcrumbing, little ass kissing, but it isn't going to pay off. And then you have the hair font. 
commitment phobia. But this person's feeling like they got it all going on. There's egotistical happy horse shit too. One more for feelings. I'm going to make a big change and I will have you. That's a bit much. Change. I'm going to make these changes. I mean, they're all talk, but they're no action. How do you see them? Okay, you got the moon and the eight of coins reversed. You don't see this person doing what the hell they say they're going to. You think they're fucking lazy when it comes to like, you're, you're going to make a, you, you, you're going to make a change. And I'm supposed to just trust this shit. You're paying more attention to your gut. And then you got the Queen of Wands reversed. This is the feeling of this person being like they only care about themselves and what makes them happy. What butters their muffin. Your actual feelings. Two of coins. You feel juggled. You're trying to get your shit together and you're making a judgment call. Ooh, slippery little suckers. You're making a judgment call that's best for yourself. It's like your eyes are open and you see that this person lacks stability. Like they're never going to commit. And this is somebody that you would have had an ongoing connection with. God knows why. But it's like... Your history, your track record sucks ass. You keep saying you're going to, but you do not follow through. You piss me off, I'm salty. You're just not enjoying the devil's... Uh, no. It's like your company's really not welcome here. And they feel like you're refusing to give them any any option. Yeah, the figure. Impulsive. Definitely some jealousy issues going on here, but boy, some intolerance as well. All right, so you have the overall energy of Pisces. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Taurus, mm -hmm. Cancer, Leo, Aries, Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn. Ooh, a lot of reversals, up and down, up and down, up and down. Weird lady liberty. I think we already got that one. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, and Heavy Leo. All right, let's get an answer for the question most on your minds. All right. What do we have? Oh, yeah. And then you have your intuition is off. Ooh, that's a hint there. Careful, careful. All right, my Taurus is on we go. Gemini's question of the day. Who played a better Sherlock Holmes, Benedict Cumberbatch or Robert Downey Jr.? We are using the Sigils Oracle to see what kind of energy the person most on your mind could be exerting towards you. These are actually protection spells. They're supposed to be inscribed to help aid in protection against somebody that is addicted or spoiled or indecisive. So let's see what we got. Three please, Soros. All right, egotistical, draining. All right, one more. Childish. Mm. Defensive also wanted to come out. All right, let's see what we have for your overall energy here. All right, you guys have the overall energy of the emperor. So that's standing your ground, not taking any shit. But it's also wanting respect, leadership, somebody that follows a rule. This can be a new beginning or the feeling of wholeness and having everything that you need to push forward. But it's a lot of ambition. So let's see what we get. All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. 
two more. Source. Two more. came out all right this person is thinking about coming your direction but they're taking their their time they're possibly thinking about changing how they come at you wanting to be more reliable give you the sense of knowing what to expect but they also think that they should know what to expect they also think that you have a major chip on your shoulder that you are being a bitch or a bastard and that you are not listening to what they are saying this is somebody that's got a grudge major grudge one more for feelings. This also can be somebody that's trying to hold on to something that, yeah. They're holding back their feelings. Holding back. I have courage. I'm worth it. And grudge. Have you seen the movie The Grudge? That's this person. Their action, regret, failure, but they don't feel like it's their fault. They're being defensive. What's the blockage? No clarifiers today. What is the blockage? They didn't put enough work into it. Is this somebody that's full of shit? Lack of effort, not seeing things moving into a long-term effort at all. This is because somebody that could have been temporary giving up too soon. More for blockage. This just looks like they completely gave up. You could have released them from your chambers. And this can be somebody that was egotistical, kind of an asshole. Egotistical. There it is. Not caring how other people feel about things, overindulging in things that aren't uh, good for them, possibly flirting around with other people, not taking responsibility for their actions. And wanting their freedom. Cake and eat it too. It doesn't look like it worked. They're holding. They think that you're a bitch because what? Because they didn't put any work into it? One more for their action. Because this is looking like they're just being defensive little shit. Yeah, I mean, they're, they act, okay, they, they don't think that they meet your expectations. They don't. They're like, you are just so high and mighty, you know, you want it all. And they're going, I tried and blah, 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 blah. They, they didn't show you enough to respect. This is not showing. They regret not giving you the respect you deserve. This is somebody that could have done a lot of things, but they wanted their freedom. They wanted their cake and eat it too. This is somebody that's really stubborn. They see you as being a bitch and cutting them out. So... But in their mind, they put work into it. They were just moving slow. A little too slow. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. That's two threes. That's expansion. That's nice. One more. Nice. Okay. This person's thinking about seeing if the two of you, one, can get back together and try to work things out, or two, I would like to see if we can try to date each other and if things can move forward, I'd like to see if we can kind of go with the flow. This is somebody that's excited about the future, and they see this working out. One more for the three of coin. Yeah. This can be somebody that you actually work with, but they're looking at the idea of now, they could be well off, but they're looking at the idea of family. They're looking at the idea of collaboration. This person wants to succeed. One more for feelings. Yep, they're curious to see if you feel the same way. So this is somebody that would be reaching out. They have feelings. They're sexually interested. They could be a little younger. But here they come. I'm making you an offer you can't refuse. So they're coming in, but they're sticking around. This is not a player. This is somebody that comes in with a lot of passion, pursuing you with pride, very inspired to see if things can work out. This is a new connection. It sure looks nice. Now, if this was somebody coming back, they are hoping that you still would be willing to move forward with them. They still see a future with you. 
and they would put more work into it is what they would be saying but all positive energy all right cancer scorpio pisces ouch i'm hurting all right they still have faith you got two cards of faith hopes they're up in their head doing a lot of thinking why the three of swords for thoughts they miss you. What's the blockage? Okay. This person could have been kind of childish. Immature. Not wanting to be responsible. Greedy with their attention. Could have been a workaholic. One more. They don't feel, one or the other, you or them, don't feel like they got the attention that they deserved. It's like, how much work was I supposed to be able to put into this? This has got a little bit of egocentric to this. can be, you didn't stroke my ego. I put a lot of effort into it. No, they did not. One more. Lies and bullshit. This person also could have been in another connection that they weren't completely out of or not over somebody from the past. But this is a foggy future, not knowing what the hell to expect from this person. One more for their action. Ah. This person still feels like they're going to, and in their mind, they've got everything that they need. They've got the power, but they can be thinking about the commitment that they're in. Feeling like they're, you know, married. Feeling like they're taken. This can be somebody that's optimistic, but they're they're delaying. They're trying to get a new perspective, but I feel like they want you to get a different perspective. But they're waiting. They might just let this go. This is looking like you could have friends on their ass too. I have hope that we can be together, but I'm keeping you waiting. Did they learn a lesson? No, they did not. No, they did not. So it seems like you're standing your ground. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. This person's thinking about communicating with you. They want to come in quick. They want to come in and talk. They don't want anything in the way between the two of you. They feel like you would be the wish come true. They're hoping that you're interested or that there can be stability here emotionally. And this is somebody that actually is kind of taking it hard or feeling a burden, but actually can be somebody that puts a lot of work into a relationship. One more. Yeah. Uh, there's this person saying, I'm not treating you like an option, which we have to figure out why. One more for thoughts. They think you're not interested in talking to them. This can be somebody that's like, I'm going to take a different approach and you're just going, eh, eh, because they feel like you're just, you know, arms crossed, not even looking at this. You've got tunnel, tunnel vision and you're just evaluating the whole situation and they want to talk. They're selfish though. This can be an unhealthy connection. This person could be addicted to you. Not so good. And they can do things not so good. Not so good. Mm. They're, it's like they're making an offer, but I don't feel like you can trust it. All right, one more for feelings. They feel like you're moving on from them. They feel like you want a new start. And they are anxious as hell. What is the blockage? They're not letting on. Oh, the blockage is somebody else. Wow, that. So we have an attention hole that feels insecure about themselves, but is actually selfish. And because they're insecure about themselves, they like to get attention from other people. They're disrespectful. Could have stepped out. There's major jealousy feelings around that. And then lies, manipulation, bullshit. And using their muscle, mental muscle, in a manipulative way. Not so good. Mm -mm. I don't feel like there's any feeling. They, they, they feel like, I want you. You'd make me happy. I'm not going to treat you like an option anymore. But it looks like you already did. Ugh. And it doesn't look like you're interested in talking. That would be draining. 
so that kind of wraps in all right so you have the overall energy of Aries I may have Libra Taurus Libra. Virgo Leo Pisces Aquarius Libra Leo again Taurus could have been a third party there. Ouch, ouch. Thinking about their action. Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn. Toxic. Selfish. All right, let's see what we get for the answer. Most on your mind. Question, source. What's the answer? Question. No worries. Don't worry. Be happy. Ooh, something very soon, though. All right, my jammies, that's what we have for you. On we go. Cancer is my crabby patties. Question of the day for fun. Who played a better Sherlock Holmes, Robert Downey Jr. or Benedict Cumberbatch? We are using the Sigils Oracle to see the person most on your mind or in your energetic field, what kind of energy they could be pushing towards you. And then these symbols are for protection. Okay, so let's see what we get. Source, cancers, persons, energy. Argumentative, playing the victim. One more. One more, okay, and we have heartless. Eh. Heartless. All right, let's get a clean deck. All right, so you guys have the overall energy of judgment. Underneath, you got the king of swords. This is looking like you are kind of holding your ground and a little bit pissy. Could be judging somebody, but it's like, you shall meet my expectations. This also can be, she will, okay, because it's somebody that is very capable. I will judge you accordingly. It also can be that you're looking for somebody that is going to meet your expectations and giving them an opportunity so let's see what we get aries leo sag source elemental quickies all right five of cups reversed two of cups All right, and the hair font. So this person is thinking about apologizing to you. They're kind of having a little bit of a pity party, feeling sorry for themselves, but they are determined, determined to try to get back under your good graces. Feelings, they feel like the two of you belong together, but they aren't sure you feel the same way, and they feel like you are kind of giving them the cold shoulder. Why the hair font for action? Seven of coins. I will put more work into it. I have learned my lesson. What is the blockage? All right. Bullshit coming out. Secrets. Lies, deception, all the anxieties, all the trying to cover things up caused a breakup. One more. Ace of Coins. This is looking like there was a lack of seeing the big picture. This person might not have cared about the action that they had taken, but whatever they did that broke your trust, you're judging accordingly. This is somebody that's like, I'll put more work into it. One more for their action. Because they're assessing the situation. I've learned my lesson. I've assessed the situation. Let's try to work things out. Can you forgive me? I don't know. Yeah. This person's not exactly honest with themselves. I mean, right here, five cups. I, I regret the action I took. Can you forgive me? I'm determined to win. 
They also might feel like you're trying to get over them. All right, stay put. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. All right, daydreaming, hopeful. Three of Swords could be working on healing. This person feels hurt, alone. They could feel betrayed by you. Nine of Cups, they want their wishes to come true. Why the Three of Swords? They could have shit on you. I'm just saying. One more. King of Pentacles. <sighs> that can be somebody that's in a different connection. Daydreaming about you because they can't have you. Seven of Cups. This person's not actually dealing with the information that's put forth in front of them. It's like they're trying to avoid the fact that they're in another connection. And this person needs to get a divorce or a separation. They want to try to make, in their head, they feel justified. What is the blockage? Third party. Manipulation. Little shit. This can be somebody that is very insensitive. And then you have the Eight of Swords. Therefore, it's upright. They're stuck in another connection. Cool. This is somebody that's being reckless and toying with you. I would be very, very careful. One more for action. Because they're doing whatever the hell they want. I'm going to be satisfied, but I'm not putting any work into this at all. I'm not looking for anything more than just having a good time. Heartless son of a bitch. Hangman. And they're not going to, they're never going to decide. They're never, they could tell you, oh, no, 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 I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. It's never going to happen. They're going to keep you hanging. You'd be waiting in stagnation forever. This person's thinking about the fact that they put you in a third-party situation, but want to play with you on the side? No, thank you. No, heartless one. Icky. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Six of Coin. I would like to spend time with you. Ten of Swords. I am not over you. I am not over you. It can't get any worse than this. Their feelings. This is somebody that wants to try to follow the heart. They possibly want to apologize, but they're going to try to charm you into their thinking. Action. Boom. The Tower. Five of Wands, they're going to come in and try to argue. I don't think it's going to get them. What's the blockage? Get them anywhere. Eight of Wands. This person doesn't have freedom. There again, it's a feeling of somebody that's stuck. Jealousy, procrastination. Things just at a major standstill and possibly you feeling impatient. The lovers. Okay, well, we're reversing that. That's somebody that you have trust issues with and you feel like they put you in competition again. The communication sucks ass. That's dishonesty and betrayal, and it could have been that they have somebody else that they're playing with. Four of Cups. Reversed. Okay, I've had enough of this. It's like all of a sudden having the realization that this wasn't going anywhere. But they want to try and fight it out, and it looks like it's over. Page of coins. I've learned my, again with this, I've learned my lesson. Here, I feel like they're playing the victim. But I feel like you're judging. Your energy is judgment. It's like, I'm judging clearly, but not trusting this person. Losing interest real fast. Mm-mm. This person's willing to cause a shit show to try to fight it out with you because of competition, but it's not going to get them anywhere. It's like, go ahead and make a scene. Go ahead, argumentative one. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Five of Swords reversed. 
This person wants to compromise. They want to try to talk things out. It's like, okay, I, I will stop being a snit. I'll stop being a little shit. I'll stop being an asshole. Fire. Trying to bite their tongue. Could have been lies in here. Yes, he is correct. Then you have the emperor. I want stability with my feelings. I want to know what to expect from you. And the eight of cups reversed. I, now this person can be actually ready to deal with their emotions, but this person could have fears of abandonment, and so they bail on you before you have the opportunity, and now they want to come back. Action. The world. And more. Ace of Swords. This person wants clarity, but they might try and make a clear break for it. One more. Queen of Cups. This person just feels they're they're emotionally immature as hell. They're always playing the god. That there's the victim again. Always playing the victim. Everything's about me. Immature, argumentative, constantly fighting, and then trying to make up for it. What's the actual blockage? Because I feel like they're kind of a runner. They get overwhelmed. They can't they can't have too much going on or too much expected from them or they lose their shit. Nine of Wands. They give up. They just they give up. They won't fight for what the hell they want. They make mistakes. We all do. Page of one. Immature. They're kind of a candy ass. But I I do feel like this person has abandonment issues. And they just, they, I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm going to do what's best for me. And I'm going to bite my tongue. And it's like they're conflicted. Are you, are you kissing ass? Are you apologizing? Or are you sticking up for what you believe in? Because this person's all, wham, wham, poor me. This, yeah. And I feel like they're making a break for it again. Like if this doesn't work out, fuck it, then I'm out. Because you're just going to do the same thing that other people have. This person's got mental blocks. Ace of Swords. They feel like they're doing the right thing for themselves. This can be trying to come at you and clear the air and start over, but that does not feel like it. One more for action. The Hermit Reverse. No, they want to be alone. This person's paranoid. They want their independence. They're stubborn. They don't feel supported. They're, they're just not right in the head. This is the person that always feels like they don't belong or they're a misfit, but they make themselves feel that way. Not anybody else is doing. All right. So let's see what we have. The Major Arcana. Okay. I've only got a childish person in here. Okay. Sagittarius. Taurus. Pisces. Cancer. Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Libra, Libra. Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio, Gemini, all signs are in here. The judgment is your self-assessment. It's doing what is best for yourself. So whether you forgive somebody or not, usually it's better to forgive you than if you're not forgiving to get back together because it can be forgiving so that you can move forward. All right, let's get an answer for you guys. Post your most on their mind, my crappy pate source. I suddenly don't know. Damn. Have patience. We're pulling one more. Release control or release the Kraken, whichever you prefer, because you definitely have somebody that's being childish and woe is me, victim, victim, argumentative, but it's not getting them anywhere. And it's like they argue over nothingness. It's almost like they pick battles so that you break it up, break it off with them so that they can use the abandonment issue as a problem. All right, Krabby Patties, that's what we have for you. On we go. Leo's question of the day for fun. Who played a better Sherlock Holmes? This is a good one. 
Benedict Cumberbatch or Robert Downey Jr. That's really a tough call if you have seen both of those Sherlock Holmes movies. All right, we are using what's called Sigil Oracles. So we're using the person's energy coming your way, what you may need protection from, and that's what these symbols are, okay? So somebody that's being insincere or gossip or discrimination or apathetic or a narcissist. We hope we don't get that one. So let's see what we get. Leo, source. Person most on their mind or in their energetic field. Okay, we have draining. We have depressed. One more. And we have victim. All right, somebody's a depressed victim pushing your buttons. All right, let's get a clean deck. All right, guys, you have the overall energy of the fool. Star right underneath that can be dreaming, dreaming, daydreaming about or wishing, hoping for somebody to have clear boundaries with you. That's love, but it can be choices that need to be made. You can be taking a new approach to somebody that you care about. But that is love. It also is possibly a new lover coming your direction. Optimism, anticipation, yearning. Let's see what we get. Aries Leo Sag, source. Elemental quickies, no clarifiers. All right, four of swords. Hey, hey. Three of swords reversed. Seven of wands. All right, why the four of swords for thoughts? Because they don't want to talk. Three of wands. They feel like you, they're thinking that you are just moving on without them and turning your back. Why the three of swords for feelings? Trying to heal, possibly. Ten of swords, not over you. Their action is standing their ground. I'm determined. I'm going to have I'm this, and they could be jealous too. Oh, boy. Nah, boy. Standing their ground, but do they... What's mm. blockage? Feel naughtiness coming. Six of swords walked away from you. Somebody that thought that they needed a change and that things were going to be grassy greeny on the other side and they were looking to put you in a third person. This is somebody that was trying to build a connection with somebody else, not you. Nine of Wands, player, somebody that's in and out, giving you false pretense, giving you the feeling of things being okay, pounding sunshine up your ass, everything's fine, no, no problem, come and go as they please, a show off, and a major fucking manipulator. This person decided, yeah, yeah they think that you're moving on, so they're not talking. One more for their action. They're keeping secrets. They are keeping secrets. This is a cheater, cheater, chicken beater. Eight of Wands. They're moving forward. They're putting the moves on somebody else. And they're done. They're hoping that you're healing. But they're not over you at the same time. They, they can feel like you're not over them and that you want them, but they don't want to talk to you. I mean, but this is somebody that... This can be your depression because they are moving forward with somebody else with great anticipation. All right. That does make you the victim. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Okay. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Eight of Coins. Very nice. One more. Not over you. I don't think this is done. I, you know, but I don't really want to change. Why death reversed for action? Okay, I mean, they, they want to chase you down. They want your attention, but they're not doing anything to change the situation. This is somebody that still wants to try to make things work. They still have feelings for you. But they're... <laughs> 
This is an unhealthy connection. One more for feelings. Queen of Cups. And this is somebody that feels that they can win you over and get you to forgive them. What's the blockage? I don't think you feel the same way about this person as you had. Confusion. Lazy. Not meeting expectations. This is somebody that is bad with finances, bad with greediness, bad with neglecting their partner. They can be very vengeful. They can be unfaithful. Can be a real picky pants. Having mm, there's the Knight of Cups. Seems like they put them again. The fucking feeling of putting the moves on somebody else. But I'm not changing. But I'm chasing you. Who the hell do they think they are? Dealing with a Leo. Okay, I'm nosy. How do you see this person? I'm not clarifying. Yeah, you see them as kind of you're you're holding a grudge on this person. You're like fuck this shit and your secrets. No, not dealing with this shit. You're guarded and you're paranoid and you're not dealing with it anymore. Nope. They're not changing. This this is somebody that's unhealthy. They want the connection with you, but they also like to play with other people. No, 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 no. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now we have Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Strength, Reverse. Ooh, this person's got a little bit of an attitude. Feelings. Ooh. I want back in. This person could have had financial issues. There could have been an emotional poverty, but there could have been financial instabilities between the two of you, like one made more than the other, and there was a little bit of a jealousy issue. I have a job now. This person doesn't feel like they meet your expectations. Action. They're, ooh, this person's insensitive. They're a little sneaky, snaky. They're watching you. They're trying to come up with a solution. But they want you back. Why strength? This can, can be somebody that thinks you should be a submissive partner. Again, do they not know who? Yeah. We're going we're gonna to work this out. This will be all fine and dandy. I'm coming back and you'll have to just suck it up, Sally. What the hell is that? This would be somebody that would drain the shit out of you. Here's the playing the victim. Poor me. I'm doting on you. I'm trying to push your buttons. One more for action. Yeah, they, end, they feel like you're a bitch. You're a... They're like, you're not even listening to me. You're just judging me. You're so judgy. Poor me. Poor me. Don't you miss me too? Don't you want me back? By the way, do you got five bucks? This can be a gold digger. I just don't like it. One more for their thoughts because I'm nosy. Oh, I'd be careful. This person doesn't even really know what the hell they want. This is like, everything's out of reach, everything's up in the air, poor me, but oh, hey, look, a shiny, blingy thing over there. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. They're playing victim. Hmm. Yeah, they're acting like they're on the straight and narrow, but they're not. They're full of shit. Ay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ace of Coins. I'm interested in abundance. I would like to match you honestly and for true. I definitely fancy you. They can see a bright future with you. They're daydreaming. They're thinking about you. It's like, I can't wait until. Page of Cups. Action. Nice. All right. One more for the Ace of Coins. Two of Wands. Ah, I don't know like that to one of so much. I'm interested in you, but I got to keep my options open a little bit. Just saying. So are you interested or not? Careful. Feelings. Feelings. A little more. I, you don't know, guys. This is looking like somebody that has 
trying to have hope even though that they're, you know, possibly lying to themselves or lying to you, having been busted. Five of Swords. Reversed. This person will do anything that they have to to win. That means kissing your ass if they have to. What's the blockage? That was looking good. Commitment phobia. Not learning lessons. Feeling like you're too judgy. Aww. Things just aren't going so well. They're being challenged. And who do they think they're dealing with? And then you have that seven of coins. It's somebody that is trying to be patient with you. Now this could have been you being patient and it, like draining the shit out of you. And more for action. They're determined though. They don't care if you're trying to get over them and wanting to move forward. They're trying anyway. Doesn't matter if you say, I'm done, I'm over you. They're trying anyway. But they've got somebody else that they, because this is somebody that's thinking they have alternatives with the two of wands. Well, I have this path, I have that path. So that makes you a la carte. No, they don't know what the hell they want. Whack it in the head. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so we have Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Capricorn, Leo, Cancer, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavy in here, Aquarius, but all signs are in here. I don't know what's more depressing, the person that's draining the shit out of you or the fact that they're, that if somebody's acting like the victim, that would be emotionally draining to anybody. Poor me, poor me, poor me. I'm trying to do a little butt kissing and then not getting their way. You don't get your way with a Leo. All right, you have be open and not anymore. Whatever you're thinking about, be open to new, maybe, and not anymore. Shit that you shall take. All right, just saying. All right, Leos, that's what we have for you, and now we go. Virgos, question of the day for fun. Who played a better Sherlock Holmes? <coughs> Sherlock Holmes? <coughs> Benedict Cumberbatch or Robert Downey Jr., which I think is kind of a tough call because they both did a really good job. So if you haven't seen it, don't worry about it. We are using the Sigils Oracle. So you, what we're doing is looking for the person most on your mind or in your energetic field, their energy that you need protection from. So playing the victim, somebody that's fearful, afraid, selfish. See what we get for you, my Virgo source. What do we have? Backstabber. Oh, a liar came out with it. A lying backstabber. Oh. Nasty. One more. And spoiled. Are you spoiling somebody? Seriously? Like they feel entitled? Ah. Don't be asking for trouble like that. All right. Let's grab a clean deck. All right, you guys have the overall energy of death, which seems terrible, but not always. This can be a change, but a good change. It can be a separation. Time to let go. But you have the Ace of Cups. This can be somebody that's willing to make a change for you. In other words, going the distance, putting more work into things. Bearing a deep grave. Oh, deep grave. Wookie. I'm just saying a true friend will help you hide the body. Yeah, yes. So cooperation of changing, new beginning. Let's see what we got. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Source, Elemental Quickies. Ace of Wands and the Emperor. One more. The World. Ooh, this feels kind of new. All right, one more for thoughts, because this is somebody that is like, you are hot to trot, and I would definitely like to see if something can grow besides what's in their pants, but they're not saying nothing. 
taking a break. What the hell? One more. They could have recently had an ending. Three of Wands. That's what it's kind of looking like. Four of Swords. I took a break and now I'm ready to rock and roll and you're looking hot to trot. Okay. Emperor. Ooh. This person wants something. They're like, gimme, 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 gimme. It also can be, I did get over this person from my past and I'm ready for something stable now. One more. Ten of Cups. I would be a little careful though. This is somebody that I have overcome this obstacle from my past. And if they had an ending, now they're trying to push forward, leave somebody else behind possibly, and start over. Action. Six of Swords, they did. They left somebody else and they're venturing out and wanting a piece of you. Intention. Eight of Wands. This person has the freedom. They they want to sweep you off your feet. They are definitely interested in moving things forward. They're ready for something new. There are no obstacles as far as they're concerned. And I'd say bullshit. Because you got the moon here. I don't feel like they're being completely honest with themselves. And I think that they still would go back to their ex if they had the opportunity to do so. Be careful. This can be your backstabber. I just feel like they're, oh, I'm all gung-ho. Yeah, I don't know so much about that. But you took a break. You're still trying to work on healing. They're ignoring somebody, but they want to uh, take a chance with you. Chance. Do a background check. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Page of Pentacles. All right. I want to learn about you. I want to lay the groundwork. And I want to see if this is... They're assessing the situation as far as emotions. They're like, would this pay off? Would Virgo be interested? And then we have the Eight of Swords reversed. That, again, is freedom. But it's releasing what? Releasing burdens. Hmm. It might feel like they were holding on to too much stress, but I think this person still wants their independence or kind of wants to be left alone. <coughs> Why the page... Queen of Cups. I don't, you know, mm, one more. And the Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody that's not over somebody else. They're looking for attention. Why the Seven of Pentacles for feelings? That's assessing. Seven of Wands. They're not done with somebody else. Seven of Wands, arguments. I'm standing my ground. I'm taking the higher ground. I'm having my freedom. I'm not putting up with any more bullshit. Is this with Virgo? Reverse, yes. Oh, it is with you. Okay, so they have somebody else on their mind. They're talking their thoughts. They're talking to somebody else that they're interested in. Therefore disappointing you I'm assessing situation I'm sticking up for myself but they might be trying to defend their territory and say I'm not doing this and I'm not doing this what's the blockage this is somebody that looks like they left you and now they're paying attention to somebody else I need a break I need to be by myself for right now blockage ten of swords they ended things because third party situation they're not lonely. You are. Magician. Manipulator. Ooh, liar. Liar, liar. Yes, thank you, Dad. So it looks like they're more optimistic and they're just letting this go. They're going, forget it. Nope, I'm moving on, but it's none of your business what I'm up to. They. This is somebody that wanted their freedom. So they released the connection with you because it was too much work. And they told you they just wanted to be alone. So this person could be ignoring you on purpose because they started up with somebody else. No, liar pants. Done. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. 
The lovers and the six of wands. All right. Feelings. King of swords. One more. Five of pentacles. I demand you take me back. I will get you to listen to me. This person's not easily influenced, but they're trying to influence you. This can, person can be very pushy. Action. Ew, they're watching you. This is somebody that might want to try to compromise, but I feel like they're a little on the insensitive side. Immature compared to you. They're watching you closely. Like something's nagging at them. Seven of Cups reversed. They're not, this is somebody that feels like they're trapped and not, not doing a damn thing here. Seven of Cups reversed. Things were up in the air, but now I'm watching like a hawk because I don't know if I can trust you. This person's, I want to come back, but there's a feeling of getting even here. One more for thoughts. Page of Wands. Yeah, it's almost like I want to win, but they might think that there's somebody else that you are thinking about. This person's kind of narcissistic. I hate to say it that way because it's like, why do they why do they need to watch you? If they think that they deserve you, I'm nosy. How do you see this person? We weren't doing clarifiers, but I gotta I gotta know. How do you see them? Four of Cups, please go the fuck away. I'm holding a grudge. This is hopeless. You're done. It's like you know, you can't know. They, they feel like somebody, they're watching. They feel like somebody else is getting your attention. Jealous. Jealous. Well, you know, if they screwed you over and you've been done with them, it's really none of their business what you're up to. So as far as action, they're going to be an asshole. An asshole. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Eight of coins reversed. Fuck this shit, I'm out. They're lazy. Temperance could be working on healing. Oh, father. Dad, turn it down. Thank you. All right. So this person's wanting to take a chance with you, but they're really not offering anything. It's like, I, I'm looking for a change, change, change. But just for fun, possibly. This is somebody that might want their independence. And then you got the hair font reversed. They're not ready to commit. It's like, I want a new path, but I'm going to be unconventional. I don't want something that's going to be hooked into me. Hooked. Action. Nine of Wands. This person's a little bit paranoid. And it's based on their history. But they want to be happy. I'm paranoid, but if I want to be happy, I'm sexually digging you. I'm interested in you, but I'm not going to offer you anything worthwhile. But you're really hot. This person wants their cake and eat it too. Not committing, not ready to do so. Mm -mm. King of Pentacles. This person can be selfish with money. They can be a workaholic. But they're looking for something that's going to make them look good. They're not sharing. Not sharing, not caring. It's like, I'm trying to get back on my feet. I'm trying to take care of myself. But I'm not really caring if anything works out. I don't care if this works out or not. Eh. How do you see this person? Ooh, you're guarded. All right, you feel like they're kind of just playing you. It's like, okay, you're fun and you're good looking and everything, but I might be better off keeping my independence. You see them as wanting their independence, but wanting to play, not stay. Bottom of the deck, three of cups reversed. Just looking for fun. Just looking for some social fun and frolic in the bedroom. Not reliable. I wouldn't say spoiled. I didn't really see anything as far as spoiled in here. But 
That would be up to you. All right, so you have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Cancer, Aries, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo. Libra Taurus, Aquarius, Aries Leo Sag, Gemini, Leo, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aries, but all signs are in here. Changes, making changes, not dealing with the lies. Uh, and the backstabber for sure. Let's get an answer for the question most on your mind. Now, if you were spoiling somebody, you'd know if you were or not. Somebody feeling entitled. All right, what do we got? Make it happen. You stabbing somebody? Big fucking, yes. Big. So whatever you're thinking about, you can make it happen. But you have a big, big huge yes all right virgos that's what we have for you on we go to the next video